Ami Maria, welcome again to Kato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper Evening Prayer. Today we are already praying uh, the Evening Prayer 1 for the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart. June, uh, we are in June 18, 2020. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, come pray with me. And let us start with the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from any worthless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Shepherd of souls, in love come feed us, life-giving bread for hungry hearts, to those refreshed. Shin waters lead us, where dwells that peace your grace imparts. May we the way ward in your form, by your forgiveness rest console. Life giving bind. Come feed and nourish, strengthen each branch with life divine. Ever in you, oh may we flourish, fruitful the branches on the vine. Lord, may our souls be purified, so that in Christ may we abide. Sinful is man who kneels before you. Worthy of you are you alone. Yet in your name do we implore you. Rich are the mercies you have shown. Say but the word, O Lord divine, then are our hearts made pure like thine. First Antiphon, God has loved us with an everlasting love. Therefore, when He was lifted up from the earth, in His mercy, He drew us to His heart. From Psalm 113, Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forever, forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, Praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antiphon God has loved us with an everlasting love. Therefore, when he was lifted up from the earth, in his mercy he drew us to his heart. Second, second Antiphon Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. From Psalm 146 My soul give praise to the Lord, 
I will praise the Lord all my days, make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that they come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves, who loves the just, but towards the path of the wicked, the Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antipon, learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Third Antipon, I am the good shepherd, I pasture my sheep, and I lay down my life for them. Canticle is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 4, verse 11, chapter 5, uh, chapter 5 verse 9, 10, and 12. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God, men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon, I am the Good Shepherd, I pasture my sheep, and I lay down my life for them. Our reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25b to 27. Christ loved the church. He gave himself up for her to make her holy, purifying her in the bath of water by the power of the word, to present to himself a glorious church, holy and immaculate, without stain or wrinkle or anything of that sort. Responsory, Christ has loved us and in, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. Response. Christ has loved us, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. He has made us a kingdom and priest to serve our God to serve God our Father. Response. And in his blood he, wa he has washed away our sins. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Response. Christ has loved us, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. Canticle of Mary I have come to cast fire upon the earth. How I long to see the flames leap up. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His own. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. 
and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary, I have come to cast far upon the earth. How I long to see the flame leap up. Intercessions. Brethren, let us pray to the Lord Jesus, the refuge of our souls. Let us ask Him response. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, whose heart, when pierced by a lance, poured forth blood and water, and gave birth to your spouse, the church. Response. Cleanse and sanctify us. Jesus, holy temple of God, slain by men and raised up again by the Father. Response, make your church the dwelling place of the Most High. Jesus, King and center of all hearts, you love us and lead us to yourself with an ending love and mercy. Response, renew your covenant with all men. Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, you unite all in the peace of the new creation and put enmity to death through the cross response show us the path to the father jesus our life and resurrection you refresh the burden and give rest to the weary response draw all sinners to yourself jesus because you loved us with so great a love you were obedient even to death on the cross response raise up again all who sleep in your peace so, brothers and sisters, let us now include in our prayer of this Vesper our family, our friends, relatives, and loved ones. And let us include also our, most particularly, our frontliners, our brothers and sisters affected by this coronavirus. And let us pray for the stop of this pandemic. Now, let us pause a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, we rejoice in the gifts of love we have received from the heart of Jesus, your Son. Open our hearts to share His life and continue to bless us with His love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may you... And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So, thank you again for praying with me. And don't forget, remember always, smile, be happy. Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.